Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy and today I have an easy keto meal prep for you guys. Make sure you follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'll have those linked below and let's go ahead and get started with today's video. I want to make a dessert for the girls to have for their lunch this week. So I'm going to make a really low carb, simple chocolate mousse. First thing you need is your heavy whipping cream. You're going to add one cup of that. Next is baking cocoa. This is unsweetened. I picked this one up at Aldi and you're going to want two tablespoons. Next is your granulated sweetener. Two tablespoons of that. I'm using Swerve. If you want, now's the time to add any extracts. You could add vanilla, one teaspoon. We like ours really chocolatey. We love the taste of like a really dark chocolate. So I'm not putting any extracts in mine. That's it, that's all it calls for. And now I'm just gonna take my mixer and I'm gonna beat this until stiff peaks form. That took approximately two minutes. It's really simple. I did have it on high, which is probably not recommended. I pick up these little containers. These are little Glad containers and they're from Dollar Tree. I use them all the time to make the girls jello. This is a four serving recipe, so I just equal these out. You can see how thick it is. So we're just gonna get the same amount in each one. I'm gonna start out with two spoonfuls and then I'll go back and add more. Again, this does make four. I'm just gonna put these little lids on here, store them in the refrigerator, and as the girls need, a dessert throughout the week to put in their lunch box, then we'll have those. But these are a little less, I think they're like 2.6 net carbs a serving, and they're absolutely delicious. This was not planned for the week, but I do need some lunches, and I'm gonna go ahead and make one of the pepperoni pizza chicken bakes that I make, or the chicken pepperoni pizza bake. I don't know. I have an entire video of this. I'll link it below and in the cards if you want to check it out. I usually make it in the oven, but this week I'm just going to go ahead and make it in the crock pot. And as I need it for lunch, I'll just be able to dish me a piece of chicken out and eat it that way. I wasn't, like I said, planning on making this um, because we have already had it once in the past month but I am struggling to get a decent lunch in. So this is just almost two pounds of chicken. And then the sauce that I have is the Reyes marinara. I know I've said this before, this is the wrong one. You want the Reyes marinara or you want the Reyes sauce, but this is the one, it doesn't have sugar added, but it is a higher carb count at five net carbs for half a cup. They do have one that's left, so read your labels. So all I'm gonna do is just turn my crock pot on high and I'm gonna layer in my chicken. I am just gonna put a little bit of the sauce on the bottom. These two chicken breasts are absolutely huge. So I'll probably make at least three or four meals out of these when I add them with another veggie, then that'll be plenty enough to get me through this week. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle some garlic powder on here. I think I add garlic powder to everything because, you know, I'm obsessed with garlic. And then on top of this, I'm just gonna add some more of the sauce so that it cooks into the chicken. Once this has cooked and it's almost done, that's when I'll go ahead and add the cheese to it. Just gonna layer a few of the deli pepperoni that I have on here. These are the really large ones. We like to use these for pizza grilled cheese sandwiches. And that's all I'm gonna do is just put four on there since they're so big. Then I'm gonna cover this up, let this cook on high for several hours. Okay, let's go ahead and check this. It is getting really close to being done. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my cheese. This one is just mozzarella and I'm going to shred some over the top of it so that it gets a chance to melt while it's still in the crock pot. 
And now that I put some mozzarella on here, I also want to put some Parmesan cheese. I know this one is in a bag. It's just because if you buy it by the block, it is insanely expensive. And I'm using just a little, not too much of that. Just going to cover this bag up now and let it finish cooking and give the cheese time to melt. Okay, let's check the chicken. It has been in now for about three and a half, four hours. I just checked the internal temperature. It is over 165, so it's done. I don't want it to get too overdone because when I warm it in the microwave this week to eat for lunch, I don't want it tough. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and let it cool. Then I can just store this entire thing in the refrigerator or I can go ahead and take out the chicken breast. But what I'll do when I eat these is just cut these in half and eat them that way. So this is four lunches, and if we need a quick dinner for the girls one night, then they could have one if they wanted to. I've shown this in the past. I'm getting some jalapeno poppers together for the week. These aren't meals per se. This is like add-ons to our meals. So if we have like a taco Tuesday or we're having a lunch, which is light, then we'll add a jalapeno popper to it. The only thing you need, jalapenos. Bacon. I use the bacon crumbles that I pick up at Sam's. You'll need cheese. I'm using Colby and you'll need some cream cheese. I do not have a recipe for this. I sort of just eyeball everything. So I'm going to take around three ounces of cream cheese. This is softened and I'm going to add it to my bowl. To my cream cheese, some of my crumbled bacon bits. If you count every single macro, of course, measure this out. Then I'm gonna shred up my cheese and add it to this mixture. I'm gonna use the rest of this one I've already got open first. We like to shred our cheese because it has less of the caking agents in it, which are sort of creepy carbs. You'll get those in your system and they can cause a weight loss stall. This cheese is just from Aldi. I pick it up. I think it's like $1.69, $1.79 a block. This little shredder right here, is from Dollar Tree and I absolutely love it because look how fine it makes your cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and just mix all that up with a fork. There are so many different things you could do to this if you want to. You could doctor this up any way possible. Like add a little bit of taco seasoning to it or a little bit of hot sauce. I mean, just play around with your foods. As long as you're keeping it low carb, that's all that matters. And I'm not sure if I'm going to make all of these or not. I think I want to keep one of them for a recipe later on in the week. So I just may go with three and make six jalapeno poppers. Again, remember, it's just me and the girls. Chris is working out of town, so I'm not prepping a ton of food right now. So I set that to the side. I'm just going to go ahead and I've already washed my jalapenos. And I'm just going to cut these into like little boats and you're going to want to scrape all of those out unless you like a lot of heat we like heat now oddly enough since starting keto but we don't like it extremely spicy especially broccoli the best way i found to do this is get one of the girls baby spoons from when they were a toddler and just scrape all that out try a spoon so easy this is going in the air fryer. So all I'm gonna do is now, I'm gonna take that spoon that I scraped all that out with and I'm going to scoop this into my jalapenos. Such a simple recipe. This will be great for game days when you're watching football or any sport. It's a great little side dish. You're not going to heat up your entire house if you want to put them in your toaster oven or your air fryer. I personally am obsessed with the air fryer. This one's the Kasori, and I'll have it linked below in case you want to see which one I use. I've been using this one for a year now and absolutely love it. Okay, I have the bottom of my tray lined with the jalapeno poppers. I'm going to put these on. I'm just going to leave them on 350. I will change the time and go down to about 11 minutes and I can always check on them and then start it. That's it. 
Okay, these just came out of the air fryer and turned off. I did leave them the entire time. We like the tops of ours completely crispy. You could shred up more cheese and put on these right at the very end if you want to, if you like them like that. But we like ours just like this. Now that these have had time to cool, I'm going to put these over here in my glass container. I won't seal these up until they've cooled a lot more because I don't want the condensation to make them soggy. But just make sure you store these in the refrigerator, unless you're eating them immediately. Again, this is just for us to eat throughout the week as an add-on to our meals. If you have not made jalapeno poppers yet, you have to. These are so good. I'm wanting to eat every one of them right now because these little crunchy pieces, I was picking out and eating those. These are delicious and make sure you try these. I'm gonna go ahead and slice up some cucumbers for the girls lunch this week. I'll just put them in this Pyrex glass container, store it in the refrigerator as they need them. They can put them in their lunch box throughout the week. This just makes things simpler, runs easier at night and in the mornings. Thank you so much for watching this week's meal prep video. I hope everyone has an amazing day. Bye.